It is 5.30. We've got Ryan, Quinn, and I. We're going on a mission because Quinn is going to be helping fly home Ryan's new-to-him airplane, which happens to be Mark Patey's old cub. Airplane so, repo. Airplane repo. Mark's not even there, but it's awesome. We're keeping his plane in the family. Ryan is finally getting into the big tire world. Just don't hit my plane, dude. Yeah, I'm scared how it's gonna fit back in there. Clear prop. Before they knew it, they were off on an adventure of a lifetime. <laughs> you shake your seat? Well, I'm not flying, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I'm flying, I don't want your heavy ass slide into the back. <laughs> I think you take off faster than I cruise. <laughs> NorCal approach, November 2333 X-ray. November 2333 X-ray, NorCal approach, go ahead. Yeah, we're A182 slant golf, just off of Reno, stead going through uh, 6,500 for 1, 1,500, like VFR flight following to Spanish Fork, Utah. Sierra, Papa Kilo. And November 33 X-ray, standby for the code, Reno altimeter 3005, you said you're a Skyhawk. Skyline for 3005 for 33 X-ray. I think my GoPro outside's not <laughs> too November much. November 3 3 X-ray, squawk 1774. <laughs> That's awesome. 1774 for 3 3 X-ray. Well, that, that is getting some good footage right there, but, huh? It's a nice angle. <laughs> it's the reflection angle. <laughs> Apparently, that's the difference between uh, 90 miles an hour and 100 and whatever knots. Is there oxygen bottles back there or no? <laughs> uh, no. No, you're serious. I was serious. <laughs> Now I know why you get there in two hours, because you go to the moon and then you dive down. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it took Trent to get his things, and he's like, I've never been up this high before. I haven't been this high in an airplane in a long time. I get scared of heights up here. I do too. The I smoke. see clouds and shit up there. I want to see the sun is what I want to see. That's how high I want to go. <laughs> is that a big smoke bank out there, or is that it a looks cloud like bank? It. I think it's a smoke bank. Do you have your instrument rating? Yeah, nice. I just don't want to have to be down in that canyon running the freeway like Trent and I did one year on smoke that was so bad. You know what I love most about these old airplanes? It has ashtrays. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine actually like being in oh here when your God, buddies are smoking? So miserable. That's like the old American Airlines, you know, or Western Airlines, the only way to fly the guy sitting in the back seat in the smoking section. It's the entire rear of the smoking airplane. Smoking section of an airplane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the entire back half. You're not, you guys aren't old enough to remember that. <laughs> I probably should call and make sure if they're not going to transfer me to Fallon, I probably should make sure the restrictors are old. Call them up, say what's up. Yo, sucker, I wonder if I cross. <laughs> <laughs> Oakland Center, Roger, climb and maintain bubble. Oakland Center, T333 X-ray, just making sure the restricted up ahead are cold. I asked, I tried, so now, now I fly right through them. I don't think it works that way. Yeah, it does. Tango uniform, I tried. Oscar, November, I think you have to have clearance. This is in your flight plan and restaurant. No, I know, but if I asked, and I'm talking to them, and they push me through, and they say, hey, you dumbass, it's like, I asked, they didn't answer. Again, I'm pretty sure that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go through it. You gotta go around it if they don't respond. I've always wanted to see what it looks like to have rockets go through my wingtips. <laughs> I, have, I have been. Uh, You've been scrambled? Yeah, I've had them like come screw with you, like knowing you're that they're there, and they'll talk to you and like fly past you. And then I've also had them clear you through it and then say, "Oh wait, wrong turn." Da 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 da. You know. Immediate. Like yeah. Just making sure Fallon uh, restrictions are cold this morning. Fallon is not currently open. Thank you much. All right, made it to Spanish Fork. There he is. Hey What's up, Mike? Down the whole time. <laughs> I know. That's what I did. You're I've looking, been. You're looking down. You know what I'd really need to do though? Right, take a leak. What do you think? You I think it's this? awesome. I think like I just, now I see where he's been cutting all his weight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to plug in my headset thinking that oh now I see I'm finding all the little Patey secrets on weight. All right, we have mingled long enough. We have wind coming as well as more smoke, which I didn't even mention that this was our first day of no smoke in weeks. I think Ryan's been trying to get over here for like a month. And Mike was saying this is the first time they've been able to see those mountains. So if you're wondering why I haven't been putting out flying videos, it's because there's been no flying to really do. So I think looking at the weather, Ryan's probably gonna be parking this for a couple weeks because that Dixie fire is still just going berserk, so. Anyway, let's get back in the air, get home before the heat and the wind. 
<laughs> you excited? Yes. You like being on camera? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is your favorite thing. Favorite thing. Ryan forgot his wallet. Super convenient. So I guess I'm fronting the fuel bill on two airplanes right now. <laughs> that was not planned. <laughs> All right, just got to Elko. We're gonna run and grab food from a place nearby, have the fueler fuel the 182. Quinn's about half hour out, so we'll hand him some food, fuel up his plane back in the air. What have you gotten yourself into? <laughs> What have you got me into? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Also, so we should mention that Ryan has zero tailwheel time, never even sat in the carbon cup until now. But I did the same thing with my plane, so I'm not gonna give you any crap. I had never even seen a Kit Fox in person. I bought it sight unseen, zero tailwheel time. I was like a new, you know, 50 hour pilot and then learned how to fly a tailwheel in my plane. And so that's what Ryan's gonna do. Quinn's gonna teach him. And you'll be in good hands. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> I don't like bumps. Yeah, it. What the? Made it back to Stead. That was actually not too rough. There was a couple bits that had me uh, not comfortable, but not horrible. Smoke was like eh, the whole time, but Quinn is still probably another 20 or 30 minutes out. So we're gonna figure out how to fit this in Ryan's hangar so I don't get the boot. Hoping that we can fit everything, <laughs> but that's the plan. Okay, okay. I think we actually have plenty of room. We're gonna try to see if we can get that cub to fit right here so that I don't have to move a plane when I go out, but at the end of the day, I don't mind. It's a lighter plane than moving the 182, so. What's up, donkeys? What's up, how was it? Got your airplane home. Looks good, flies good. She's warm, you gonna go taxi her around? I just, I don't, I don't know the first thing about anything. I need somebody. To... You could easily go just taxi around real slow with your feet, play with your airplane. Ah, I want to, but I feel like I... So just start up, give me a quick on when I do, come out here. This airplane is always a knuckle. Here it's dead everywhere. You don't need to prime it. Okay. You go to sea level, obviously you're gonna punch it all the way in, but where we fly every day, it's at a knuckle, set it, forget it. Flick the master on. Okay. Turn the key okay. with just a little gas and it's gonna start right up. As soon as it starts right up, bring the gas back. I leave the tanks on both always. Okay. Well, jump always. in there, sit in there. Just sit in there and do it real quick. It's really simple. Now while Quinn is over there giving Ryan the rundown on his new Cub, I'm gonna take a second to give you the rundown on the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. For those that don't know, Squarespace is the ultimate platform to build a website and run your business. You start with one of their award-winning templates, you craft it into your own beautifully designed website that works on both desktop as well as mobile. They've got 24 seven support as well as features for literally every industry. So if you're someone like me that does video and photo work, they have professional photo galleries, video backgrounds, they have members areas where you can connect with your audience more intimately. And also they are always updating their features. So your website gets stronger as Squarespace continues to grow and improve, which they are doing around the clock. So if you haven't yet, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to purchase, go to squarespace.com slash Trent Palmer, get you 10% off. Brakes on, pull back. Not there, car. There, master. Master's on. This is the most dangerous time you start an airplane because awesome. everybody's like, oh my God, it's a carbon cup. Oh, it's Trent Palmer, look out. Get the back, clear prop. Starting it. Oh shit, that's a pure truth. Stoked. He's stoked. Stoked and nervous right now. 
really hard when your tail wheel is cocked like that to get it to straighten back out. He feels like something's wrong. He has to run brakes and the throttle right now. I know this because I've been there. Look at his rudder. All the way over and he's like, you gotta let it roll for a second, then hit the brake. Just try to see if you can go down the yellow line. Once you figure out how to go straight, see if you can go back and forth with full tires on either side, lead it. He said, good luck, no instruction, send it. <laughs> <laughs> he's fired up. Well, yeah. first taxi. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's see if much. this thing fits. Yeah. Let's see, how are we gonna fit it? Good, plenty here. Super good over here. Awesome. Look at that. With room to spare. I don't know. You're yeah, I'll, I'll probably get out or I'll yeah, you push get it. Out. Oh, he doesn't even need to move the carbon cup. No, I know. And I 182 can go back further, too. Yeah. And the carbon cup can actually go back a little bit further. Yeah, the carbon cup could kick a little bit more, too, dude. We're... Yeah. This is actually He's better. Six feet. All right, Quinn. Nice work, dude. We did it. We did it. Another we, one in the group. We accomplished the mission of the day. Are you pumped? That's the big question. Yes, very pumped. You're yeah. super pumped. You don't I'm even know how pumped, pumped you are. I have no idea what I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pumped.